The Ashley Chapel Community Organization is hosting a Rock the Block Community Fun Day event on Saturday from noon to 4 p.m. at the Ashley Chapel Community Center in Rockingham. The Block Party style event is open to the public and will have games, food, entertainment, and fun for all ages. Activities include board games, cornhole, bingo, bounce house, and more. There will also be free hot dogs, barbecue, and fixings. A private company will be taking over animal control services in the city limits next month. The Rockingham Police Department announced on Monday on social media that Rivers Wildlife Removal will be handling animal control calls starting August 1st. Owner Jasper Rivers previously worked as a nuisance animal control officer in Chesterfield County, South Carolina, before deciding to be his own boss. Rivers said he initially started the company prior to the COVID pandemic, but restarted a few months ago. A South Carolina native, Rivers now lives in Rockingham. Chief George Gillenwater said Rivers approached the department about the opportunity. By taking a role, Rivers said that would leave officers available to focus on crime and other things. Gillenwater agreed. Residents with animal issues should still call 911, according to Gillenwater. Calls will still be dispatched to a supervisor who will determine if an officer is needed to assist Rivers. Though Rivers won't be an officer, Gillenwater said he would be paid from the department's dedicated part-time budget instead of coming from the contracted services section. Rivers said his company removes unwanted animals from residential and commercial properties and will be focusing on stray cats and dogs in his work with the department, working closely with police and the Rich County Animal Shelter, which has been operated by K2 Solutions for the past two years. As for wildlife, Rivers said he can deal with anything from birds and bats to black bears. The toughest call he's had so far was to remove four snakes from a ceiling of a home in the Palmetto State. Rivers said he prefers to capture and remove animals humanely and avoids killing them at all costs. Will Nick Abbott be able to pull off three consecutive wins at Rockingham Speedway? That's the question heading into MB Drift's third competitive round of the 2023 season, medal on medal. Abbott only had a single third place finish in 2022, but has taken the top spot in the first two competitions this year and leads in points. However, 2021 season champ Joe Boozum is on Abbott's zip-tied bumper in points, having placed second in both comps on the Speedway's infield road course. Earlier in the year, Boozum won the Little Rock Shootout during the Spring Missouri. For round three, which will have an 80s theme, drivers will be testing their skills on the heart-shaped Kokoro circuit. Qualifying is scheduled to begin at 12.15 p.m., followed by the competition at 2. An early hiccup during Tuesday's final home game of the summer resulted in a loss for the Richmond Renegade baseball team. A five-run top of the second inning led to a 6-2 loss for the Renegades against the Scotland Stripers. Richmond used three different pitchers starting with sophomore Evan Hodges. He went two innings and allowed five runs on four hits with two strikeouts. Fellow sophomore Caden Nolan threw four innings of relief and allowed just one walk and no hits during that span with a pair of punch outs. Junior Jeremiah Ritter gave up one unearned run on a hit in the final frame. The Renegades will travel to Scotland tonight for the first of two road games to end the season. First pitch is set for 6 p.m. When we return, we've got your live at 5 weather report. It's coming after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. 
At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your Line 5 Weather Report. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Richland County has been a really nice day so far. Lots of warm weather going around today. More 90 degree temperatures for this afternoon. And we're going to continue to see some of that play out for the next several hours in the area. Looking at tonight, 6 o'clock, 93 degrees. 9 o'clock, we'll be seeing 84 and 11 p.m. 80 degrees uh, right on the round out there. Uh, sunset set for 8.26 p.m. as we are starting to see earlier sunsets uh, a lot more frequently now. And we'll be seeing a first quarter moon phase for tonight as well. Now looking at tomorrow, we're going to be seeing more clear skies for the area. We're going to be seeing sunshine across the region with more 90 degree weather. It's going to continue to stay hot from here on out. Carolina County, high 96, low of 74. Hope County at a high 95, low of 73. With Robeson County at a high 95 and a low of 74. Up in Moore County, high 96, low of 73. With Scotland County at a high 95 and a low of 73 there. Here in Richmond County, same set of temperatures with Scotland over across the river in Anson County, high 96, low of 73, and down south in Marlboro County, high 96, low of 73 there. Getting into the seven day forecast, as you can see, lots and lots of nineties up on the board here. Uh, we are not going to have any cool days moving forward, but the good news is temperatures are cooling down as the next seven days play out. Again, tomorrow, high 95, low of 73. Friday, party cloudy skies all through the weekend. Friday's going to be seeing a high 97, low of 75. With Saturday at a high 97 and a low of 76. And Sunday, high 96, low of 77. Temperatures do drop down a little bit on Monday. Pretty significant, uh, relatively speaking. 92 for the high, 72, 73 for the low. Tuesday, we'll be seeing party cloudy skies, as will be Wednesday. Tuesday, a high 91, low of 74. And then Wednesday, high 90, low of 73. So yeah, uh, very, very hot weather ahead. The good news is that the, the hotness of it, the, the hottest part of it will be uh, in the immediate future. And from there on out, it starts to go downhill a little bit. So that's going to do it for your Live 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Rich K, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free R app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Rich K.